And let's not forget, I have the one thing that he doesn't have, and that's a punch that can switch lights off within, within the blink of an eye. Just one wrong step, one wrong maneuver, and it's over. I'm sure He's kidding. <laughs> 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 Alexander Usyk, a great champion who is famous not only for his achievements in boxing, but also for his championship behavior, both inside and outside the ring. A boxer who always displays dignity and utmost respect to his rivals, treating concepts like trash talk or insults as impermissible and unacceptable. Nevertheless, despite the demeanor of this noble champion, there are those who, through audacious antics and words, attempt to offend or infuriate him. Usyk does not tolerate disrespect, and he puts these brazen bullies in their place. That is the subject of today's video. Today, we will show you what happens when you make Alexander Usyk angry. If you enjoy our videos, press thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are here for the first time. Let's get started. Alexander Usyk versus Argentinian Cesar David Krenz. This fight took place back in 2014. At the time, Usyk was still a relative newcomer to the professional arena. It was only his fourth fight. His opponent was more experienced and had earned championship titles. Being relatively humble before the fight, Cesar unexpectedly chose bold tactics during the fight, constantly teasing and ever so often provoking Usyk. But Usyk did not succumb to provocation and calmly dismantled the Argentinian. First, in the third round, Usyk broke Cesar's block with a clear left hook, sending him to the floor. Then he deliberately did not finish him off. In the fourth round, with an accurate and powerful blow to the body, he finally sent Cesar to the canvas. After this blow, the Argentinian, experiencing real agony, simply couldn't continue. And as a result, Usyk scored his fifth victory, a punishing defeat to his imprudent opponent. But what rapid progress he made in his 23 fight to date, winning that world title, a big crown against Marco Hook. At a regal arena that is filled to capacity. Absolutely incredible atmosphere. The weirdest really be inspired by that. That's Alexander Usyk first South African boxer Daniel Brewer. At stake was the first professional title in Usyk's career, WBO Intercontinental. The fight developed in similar fashion as the Cesar Krenz bout, open bravado of the opponent, who smiles after missed strikes, showcasing too much cocky behavior. And as we saw previously, the result of such behavior against Usyk is the same. In the seventh round, Brewer, believing in himself too much, once again attempted to throw blows at the Ukrainian. Usyk, not taken aback, found an opportunity. A hard left hook sent Brewer to the floor. Brewer could not get up from the referee's countdown, and Usyk won an open victory. Alexander Usyk versus British boxer Tony Bellew. Unlike Usyk's previous fights, this one has at least a little background. By the time the fight took place, Usyk was already the undisputed cruiserweight champion and winner of the Muhammad Ali Trophy, the boxing legend who took every title imaginable. Not surprisingly, Tony Bellew became interested in Usyk and began challenging him to a fight. Of course, Usyk accepted the challenge. Before the fight, Bellew, in his own style, spoke boldly about the Ukrainian, promising a knockout. He confidently declared that he would succeed against Usyk, teasing the opponent in every possible way. It was all in a friendly manner. If you look at the previous fights and antics of the Briton, you can understand that he respected Usyk very much. However, that did not stop Tony, or many boxing critics, from criticizing Usyk for lacking a powerful knockout punch. Shots fired and heard loud and clear. And Usyk was absolutely certain about proving otherwise. On November 10th, 2018, the fight took place. Admittedly, in the early rounds, Bellew showed decent resistance, even winning on the cards of some judges. But later, Usyk became more active and began to show his power. In the end, during round eight, Usyk landed several clean blows and sent the shocked Briton to a brutal knockout with a left hook. Try to 
you get that right hand lead in, the sidestep will, will come at you from such awkward angles. Also tremendously easy to get through that. You might have to knock it away to try to get inside and then the outside, but on the inside, mentally. With this, he closed critics' mouths and made it clear that not punching Usyk is just a myth. Alexander Usyk versus controversial German boxer Marco Hook. The fight perfectly established that audacity against Usyk is a bad thing. He will make you swallow your words. The fight was outlined at a unique tournament of the World Boxing Super Series, the winner of which received all the belts in the division, a large sum of money, and also became the owner of the Muhammad Ali Trophy. All the top boxers, of course, rushed to the tournament. Usyk, who by that time already held the WBO championship, did the same. Usyk chose Marco Hook as his very first opponent. Hook, then already a former world champion, had a reputation for his antics both inside and outside the ring. Hook was known to provoke opponents before a fight, and in the ring, he often used dirty tricks. Usyk, as you can imagine, was no exception for Hook. And at this moment, when, during the duel of views, Hook pushed the Ukrainian and called him a son of a bitch, among other things. Hook clearly crossed every line. During the fight, Usyk did indeed answer, arranging a tough beating for Hook. He pulverized the German, destroying him round after round, sometimes even brazenly bragging himself. There were, of course, a couple dirty cheap shots performed by Hook, but Usyk was ready for them and calmly did his job, business as usual. Hi, Marco. As a result, by the 10th round, the fight had already turned ugly for Hook, and after a prolonged attack, the referee intervened and stopped the fight. After the fight, Usyk admitted that he deliberately tortured Hook. Usyk went on to win the tournament and become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. But that's a topic for another time. Usyk, waving that right hand, tempting and teasing with it before getting through the point scoring left cross to the body. Usyk, altercation between these two men, I say altercation, it was just hook, making his presence felt when the two men came together at the press conference. As Usyk gets back onto the front foot, scores with the left cross. In this video, I showed you the instigators that Usyk put in their places and exactly what happens when you make Alexander Usyk angry. Friends, did you enjoy this video? Write your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you as soon as possible. Take care.